Hongbo distinguishes himself not simply through the vitality and persuasiveness of his painting, but through his willingness to experiment, innovate, push the envelope, whether in a particular painting or in a whole new method of building painted space. His recent work introduces pronounced texture into the painted surfaces, almost as if he is physically constructing the mountains and the valleys, the trees and the leaves, the rivers and the clouds. None of these factors are as realistically depicted, and in fact they all seem to dissolve into wrinkled ridges flecked with brush strokes, evoking but not depicting branches and soil and hilltops. This is landscape not simply abstracted, but boiled down to its organic and inorganic material, a diet of wind and grit flecked with brilliant fruit. Even more radical are the painted installations Hongbo has recently been composing, great seas or forests of paper draped over vertical supports usually stacks of styrofoam, and then painted in a frenzy of virtuosic slashing and dripping. This makes it sound as if he were emulating Jackson Pollock, but the result is far from Pollock's tight skeins of pigment trails. Rather, Hongbo draws as much as, draws as, much as paints with the brush, lying in a mark at a certain fold in the paper so as to balance another mark nearby, and thus compiling extensive networks of sometimes clotting, sometimes rambling pathways of color, ways for our eyes to enter the physical space of the installation and the conjured space of the painting. I will say congratulations to Hongbo for his upcoming new exhibitions, Green Blue Landscape in Shenzhen, China. We are looking forward to showing such wonderful art to American audience in Beverly Hills next year. <laughs>